Hello, so today's video comes as a video response to Caroline Miliartis, who did a Oreo cheesecake a couple of weeks ago. Um, might be a little bit longer. I'm going to give it a go and see how I get on with it. Um, if you don't know who Caroline is, I suggest you go over to her channel and check her out because she her, uploads recipes every week and she's just brilliant. She's taught me so much. Um, the moment I first found Caroline was, I think the first recipe that I found was the chocolate cheesecake. Um, and when I made it, it went down such a hit that when I got married in 2011, I made the banoffee pie, which was like my dish at the time, and the cheesecake as part of my buffy display and the chocolate cheesecake just went everybody loved it it went so far so that's a good one if i'd go and check that out if i was you um but if caroline if you're watching hello i've um started this channel it's basically me trying out recipes you know i'm no expert it is what it is i'm just trying it out and if it comes out bad i will show you and then you can tell me where i've gone wrong so, but the only thing I wanted to say as well, I will be using a nine and a half inch because I haven't got a nine inch. So I'm hoping this will be okay, and I'm going to try and compensate the base with just a few more biscuits than what's on the recipe, um, just to compensate for the room. So I will show you the room. Okay, so for the base, you're going to need, of course, Oreo biscuits, some butter, which I'm going to melt. For the filling, we have lots of cream cheese, eggs, caster sugar, five Oreo cookies, some sour cream, plain flour and vanilla extract. And for the decorating, we've got a few more Oreo cookies there and some squirty cream. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is crack up your biscuits. I've had to do it in one of these Ziploc bags because I haven't got a blender. Um, and this is what it's going to look like and then you're going to add your melted butter to that get it all mixed in and then going to line your tin Okay, so at first you are going to mix up your cream cheese and as Caroline said it's best to have this at room temperature just for easier mixing really. Really good mix. I think that's alright. And then going to add in your sugar, your sour cream, use this, your vanilla, if I can get this open. You're going to put one egg at a time, giving it a really good mix in between. Okay, so last egg going in. And I'm going to add the flour at this stage. You want to give this a really good mix until it's completely smooth. Make sure there's no lumps. Um, yeah. So it's nice and smooth. I crushed up 
the five biscuits. I'm going to add them in. Add them in. Give it a mix. I so badly want to eat this today, but I can't. When I'm on my diet, it would be tomorrow that I'll have to wait to have a little treat. So any little bits I'm getting on my fingers, I'm trying not to lick off. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to put this into your tin. top over lovely um, this is going to go in the oven for I believe Caroline said 10 minutes that would be gas mark 7 um, and after 10 minutes you'll turn it right down for another 25 to 30 minutes and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done okay so that's been in the oven for about 40 minutes um, I hope it's done so I'm gonna leave it for a little while I'm gonna take Caroline's advice I think I don't want it to be dried out, I'd, like, I'd rather have more of a creamy texture to it. So I'm going to leave it like that until it's cooled down completely and then I will cover it with cling film and put it in the fridge overnight and, you know, have some tomorrow and then I can show you what it looks like when I cut that up tomorrow. Right, okay, to finish off, all I've done is use the squirty cream, as you can see around the top and then cut the Oreos in half and put them on top um, so there we go that is my Caroline Miliatis inspired Oreo cheesecake so this is my husband who's going to be the first person to try it hmm pretty nice is it creamy? yeah really really smooth you think it'd be crunchy but it's not it's well nice. Thank you, Caroline, for showing me this recipe. I'm looking forward to trying it myself. Um, but yeah.